Roger, thank you. Our final three Commitment 2014 candidate profiles focus on the race for Maine governor. We begin with independent candidate Elliot Cutler. Here's WMTW News 8 political reporter Paul Merrill. A deficit of fewer than 10,000 votes prevented Cutler from winning the governor's race four years ago. He's hoping this year will be different, and so far it is, but that difference is not a difference that a candidate likes to see. Politics as usual won't get Maine growing again. Elliot Cutler is hoping that October will be his month. The independent gubernatorial candidate has been polling a distant third in this three way race. People he says Democratic and Republican election. Party leaders are trying to scare voters away from his candidacy. The fact is that when Maine people figure out that they don't have to be afraid, that they can vote for the guy who will be the best governor, that they'll vote for someone who shares their values and their principles, that they don't have to be timid and, and frightened as the parties want them to be, that's when this race is going to break. And that's beginning to happen right now. The narrative surrounding Cutler's campaign is dominated by what happened four years ago, when his candidacy experienced a surge in the weeks leading up to Election Day, a surge that almost got him elected. <laughs> this year, the 68 year old from Cape Elizabeth is trying to make history repeat itself, only sooner. Cutler had been calling for earlier and more frequent debates, but his opponents didn't bite. One of them's afraid of putting his foot in his mouth again. Uh, and the other is afraid of being revealed for what he is, which is a backbench congressman. Uh, I think they're afraid to really talk about serious, complicated issues. Complicated issues like the ones Cutler tackles in his book, A State of Opportunity. He writes that Maine's biggest economic problem is the lack of talented young people in its workforce, a problem he hopes to solve by reforming education and restoring confidence in our state. We have become so accustomed to being 49th in this and 50th in that that we can't even get our arms around the possibility of success. I think this is the greatest turnaround challenge in America, this state, right now, but we've got to believe in ourselves again. Cutler says Congressman Mike Mishu's policy plan is just a list of taxpayer funded government programs. As far as Governor Paul LePage's strategy? I don't think Governor LePage is, is, is driven by plan. I don't think he's driven by facts. I think he has an ideology uh, that he tries to fit his decisions into. And that's the reason why I think he's made some of the worst, some of the dumbest decisions I've ever seen a governor of the state of Maine make, ever. Many analysts don't expect Cutler to break late in this race because Mishu is seen as a stronger Democratic nominee than Libby Mitchell was in 2010. I think Libby Mitchell would have been a better governor than Mike Mishu. I don't think Mike Mishu is a stronger candidate at all. I think he is a weak candidate. I think he would be a not good governor. And I think the Democratic Party is desperately trying to prop him up. Cutler can afford to talk tough at this point. He's got nothing to lose except another election. Can you envision a scenario in which you drop out of this race before Election Day? No. Not at all. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, our profile of Governor Paul LePage. It's an interview that drove Maine political coverage for a full week. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.